as Rebecca Kadaga and Jacob Olanya are the most coveted seat of the National Assembly. Other lawmakers have shown interest in seeking the office of the Deputy Speaker. Among these are Remyaga MP Theodore Sechkubo, Wilfred Niwagaba of Ndora East, and Monica Amoding, a National Female Youth MP. I'm going through the processes of NRM. I'll be writing my application if and when applications are invited. I have no doubt in my mind that SEC will approve my name. I believe I have the necessary qualities, experience and resolve to stand and act in that position for the betterment of not only members of parliament but the country at large. The Right Honourable Deputy Speaker is vying for a bigger position and so we think that uh, a deputy is a place where a junior politician can begin from as you work towards uh, going to the upper echelon. Once viewed as rebels within the ruling party, the NRM leadership expelled Niwagaba and Sechkubo from the party. But the lawmakers who espoused the spirit of free debate and often rejected to tell the official party position in the Nani's parliament were granted a lease of life when the Supreme Court ruled that they could not automatically lose their seats after their expulsion. Though Sech Kubo contested on the NRM party to retain his Remyaga seat, Nwagaba was voted back as an independent in the 2016 parliamentary polls. We asked the duo whether the race could drive a wedge in their friendship. My friend Honorable Sech Kubo has to pass through a litmus test called uh, a designation from the Central Executive uh, Committee of NRIM. So he has to first pass that hurdle. When he passes it, then in between me and him, we can always agree and I'm sure we will not stand together. I know we can always agree. There is no doubt in my mind that if we share the same aspiration, but then there is that added advantage to the extent that for me, I come from the NRM party, and as the ruling party, certainly they are interested in the candidature of the Deputy Speaker of Parliament. Sources also claim Chova Kamateka, who is the Mitoma District Human MP, and Hamson Obua of Ajur County are also eyeing the Deputy Speaker position. So far, those who have shown interest are from the ruling party. NTV has learned that before the contest, these MPs would be vetted by the NRM's second highest organ, the Central Executive Committee. And I hope the members of parliament, especially from NRM, will not look at their party colors, but will look at the competence and the individual and vote for me. Particularly, I bring in a youthful angle to it, and also I represent two very important uh, platforms, the women and the young generation. With barely a month before the polls, no opposition MP has shown a desired contest for the speakership or deputy speakership. In the last elections, the opposition fronted Nandala Mafabi for the position of speaker and Odonga Oto for deputy speaker, but both lost. Agnes Nandutu, MTV Weekend Edition.